Hey everyone, this is Jeff Chan from MMA Shredded, and in this video, I'll be showing you 12 technique tips on how to generate maximum power in your roundhouse kicks. There are various ways of throwing the roundhouse kick, and this is just one style. So it is not to say that this is the correct way or the incorrect way, but I have found for me that this style of kicking has generated the most power in my roundhouse kicks. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tip one, stand tall when you kick. You can lean back slightly to balance and kick higher, but try to stand tall. Tip two, elevate onto your tippy toes, up onto the ball of your feet. You'll be surprised at how much extra power you can generate by going on the ball of your feet. And you can also add height to your kick if you wish to kick higher. <laughs> Tip three, pivot so that your heel is pointing at your target. Tip four, turn your hips to the direction you are kicking, from north to west if you're kicking with your right leg, and from north to east if you're kicking with your left leg. Tip five, drive your shin across your target. A common mistake is to snap too soon. They stop their knee in the middle of the target and therefore they're only kicking halfway through the target. As mentioned in tip five, drive your shin across the target and make sure that your knee is past the target before you snap. This will ensure that you're kicking through the target, not halfway. Tip six, the knee does not touch the target. Another common mistake, the knee always ends up hitting the target. Tip seven, make sure your kicking leg is not too straight or not too bent. I have found that keeping your leg at 90 degrees has generated the most power. So I keep my leg at 90 degrees until I've made contact with my target. Tip eight, make sure your shin makes full contact with your target before you snap. Tip nine, whip your arm down for power and balance. If you kick with your right leg, whip your right arm down, and if you're kicking with your left leg, whip your left arm down. Tip 10, kick horizontally for more power versus kicking vertically, which benefits in other ways, but not power. Tip 11, if you're kicking with your lead leg, load up your lead kick by pivoting your rear foot and rocking your body to the side, the same way you'd load up for a lead hook punch. Tip 12, step 45 degrees to the side of your opponent to kick through your opponent. Some people like to switch their stance, but I personally generate more power by stepping. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked it, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to our channel for weekly content and to our mailing list for exclusive content as well as follow our Instagram page at MMA Shredded.